This might be one of Leonardo AI's most helpful features to date. Now, it's nothing fancy like a new fine-tuned model or a new feature, but it is incredibly helpful and much needed. So today, I'm going to show you an incredibly helpful feature that may have gone unnoticed. As you continue to use Leonardo AI more and more, that means you're generating more and more amazing creations. But here's the problem. Remember that one amazing cinematic style image you created nine months ago, trying to find it could be like looking for a needle in a haystack, but no longer. That's because of Leonardo AI's most helpful recent updates. It's called Collections. Now, I do have my Leonardo AI Mega Prompts database that has been just a godsend for me to organize all of my hundreds of prompts. You can get this database by checking the links in the description. And it is immaculately organized. In fact, I add new prompts to it almost every single day, so don't forget to check the links in the description. For every video I make, any prompts I share, or tools I display, I'll always have links in the description. So in the past, unless you had a database like this that is incredibly organized and structured, you really didn't know how to find your past creations. Or what if it's your own personal work, your own personal prompt or image that you generated, and you want to find it, and you want to reuse it again? Well, that is where Collections is going to come in. It has been so incredibly useful and helpful for me, because now I can organize all of my favorite favorite prompts and images and then find them very easily. And so in order to do that today, it's quite simple. What you need to do is over on the left hand side, just simply go to your personal feed. And as I scroll, there are literally hundreds and hundreds of images in here. And in fact, there are probably a lot of major ones I may have missed that I made maybe a year ago. I can't find them, which means I definitely do have a lot of work ahead for myself in organizing my own prompts in Leonardo AI. But that's actually no big deal because now it's easier than ever before. So in your personal feed at the very top, you can see it right here, collections, and it's in beta. Simply click on this. Now, I've already started my process. I have four folders created. Now, considering the amount of prompts and images I have in here, I'll probably have at least 12 to 15 folders in here alone because I want to be able to find specific images relatively fast. For example, this first one right here, it's called People Superheroes. I'll be putting all of my favorite images and prompts that consist of people or superheroes in this one folder right here. If I go back, I'll do the same thing. Here are all of my favorite motion ones where I've made videos. Please don't forget to subscribe. Okay, and then we have the same thing for cinematic style images. Okay, those are going to be in this folder. And then I can go to animated and then Pixar images. So all images where I made animations or Pixar DreamWorks style ones. So going back to collections, it's going to be so helpful to be able to simply find what you're looking for. So here's what we do over on the right hand side. You're simply going to select new collection. Now look at this at the very top at the very top corner. It says collections four out of 50. And then if you can make out this text, it is relatively small. You could see how many folders you get based on your subscription level. If you have the free account, you'll get one folder collection, Apprentice 5, Artisan 15, and then Maestro 50. For most people, you're either free, Apprentice, or Artisan. That's going to be more than enough. But nonetheless, you're going to love this. So the first thing you want to do is just go to new collection. In new collection, just type in what you want your folder's name to be. So in my case, I need to add another folder for products and or shoes. So that's what I'm going to type in, products, comma, shoes. From here, we have two options, create. If you select create, it's just going to go ahead and then make your folder. Or you can say create and add images. I'll select this one because then what this does is automatically take you to your most recent images. And here at the top, you can select all upscaled or motion, which is helpful as well. And then on the right hand side, you have your toggle bar. I like to move mine to the max right hand side because I want to see the most images as possible to quickly select them one at a time. So let me scroll down. And as I do this, I'm on a lookout for anything that's going to look like a shoe or a specific product. Okay. And then here we go right here. These are definitely some shoes. If I want to save any of these, simply click on it. There's one. Now it has that check mark on the actual photo. So since I like these, these may be some prompts and images I want to reuse in the past. I'll select all of these as well. So some of these up here I don't like, like this one over here on the left. I just won't select it. But as you continue to scroll, every time you see an image that you like, that you want to add to that specific folder, just click on it. Once you have them all clicked, 
The next thing you have to do is just select confirm down here at the bottom. And then just like that on the right hand side, you could see, let me go back to my collections. I now have my fifth folder and it automatically adds an image to display as my category photo. Now, once I click on it to open it, there are now all of the images that I selected. Now that's going to be pretty helpful. The other thing we can do is if I add another new collection, this time I want to add one that's just called scenery and landscapes. Again, create and add images. Now I'm going to take advantage of this search prompt up here on the left hand side. So this can be very helpful, especially if you're like me, I can scroll down here on and on and on and it almost feels infinite because I have so many images and prompts. So to make this a little bit easier, I know I have a lot of prompts where I use the word beach. I'm now just going to simply type in the search bar in the top left hand corner beach then select search. Okay, now check this out. Automatically and instantly, I'm gonna get every image and or prompt where I use the word beach in my prompt. And then just like that, look at these. I have all of these right here. So I'll just start selecting these. These look amazing. These in fact are images I definitely forgot I had. So I can even use these right here of that knight on the horse. And as I continue to scroll, I just see more and more images and I just do more and more clicking. But you get the gist of it. So just keep scrolling and keep clicking on all these images and then as soon as you're done clicking that last one and then once you hit confirm I will now have my brand new folder for scenery and then landscapes go back to my collections and now there we have it there is my sixth folder now I'm gonna keep doing this until I feel like I have everything as organized and as structured as I want so what I'll do is on your screen right here there's actually a very helpful blog post that Leonardo AI wrote explaining the exact ways you can use collections as well. So if you look over here, there are actually more things you can do. Of course, labeled folders, we can name all of our folders, okay? But then you can also have folders in folders. So you can have up to two levels of nested folders in a folder for more organization. So for example, what I can do is over here in, let's say people and superheroes or cinematic, Let's say people and superheroes for an example. If I click to expand this one, okay, I'm in my folder. I can actually add an other folder within this one and maybe I wanna split things up to separate people and then actual superheroes. So that's gonna be so helpful to really stay organized and find what you need. And then over here, you can see it says coming soon. Share your folders with your friends, teammates, and other users. So that's gonna be very helpful. So going forward, once this option is available, I myself personally, I'll start sharing some of my personal folders myself in my YouTube videos and on my channel. So anytime I have a prompt or an image that I think you guys will like, I'll be more than happy to share it with all of you. And then we also have these smart folders coming soon, automatically organizes your generations based on the keywords found. That is going to be insanely helpful because I can create a smart situation to where I say, anytime a prompt contains the word beach, that image will then automatically be placed into my smart folder for scenery and landscapes. So when that comes out, that is going to be so incredibly helpful and that's going to cut the workload for you and me substantially. And then last but not least, we have search and filters easily search for contents within an actual folder. This is gonna be so incredibly helpful. You can read this blog post, it just gives you basic how-tos and functionality, but I'll include a link in my description for this blog post in addition to my Leonardo AI Mega Prompts database. But there you have it, another very helpful feature by Leonardo AI. So let me know what you guys think, and thank you so much for watching this video, and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out. But until then, we'll see you next time. Thank you